Hello there, my name is Skate for Eleven. Today I will be showing you a tutorial for the photo skip in uh, Final Fantasy VII RTA. Uh, I'll be using the international version for this tutorial, um, but more or less, uh, it is pretty much the exact same thing. Um, so let me uh, run through this skip real quick without saying anything, just to kind of do it, and then I'll explain it. Okay, so pretty much it's a uh, combination of three movements, um, and then we end up opening the menu as a buffer to uh, directly control our next movement. So uh, let me walk you through it step by step. So pretty much uh, when you're running up to the uh, NPC uh, right before you take control, you want to be holding X, left, and down, okay? So you want to keep on holding X, left, and down until you can't move anymore. You run into this uh, pole here. Um, so then after this, you just want to hold left until you can't run anymore. And then, uh, do you see this shadow right here? Um, this shadow is pretty much what we're going to be looking at. Um, you're going to want to open the wind, uh, the menu pretty much as soon as Cloud's Foot, any part of Cloud's Foot crosses uh, this line here from between the uh, shadow and uh, where it's not a shadow. So I'll try to see if I can do it here. Alright, so this will probably be close. Um, so now that I've opened the menu, you want to close it and then be holding up, right, and circle. And you'll see I got it. Um, so after that, on the international version, you have to uh, confirm two dialog boxes. You have to talk to the guy and then uh, confirm the dialog box. And then after that, just make sure you don't clear through any other text boxes and you'll get the skip. Um, so I'll do it again. Um, you'll notice uh, that when I do it, I tend to throw a little bit of a upright input um, right when I get to the shadow. Um, so let me do it not that way and let me show you how to accommodate for that. Oh, I messed up. One second. Alright, well I still got it. Um, let me try to do a bad one and uh, show you what you can do to fix it if you happen to not get it. So I'm going to try to go a little bit early here. So I may be like, okay, that was too late actually. Let me do one a little bit early. So like this, alright. So now if I do this, this should not be the skip. Right? So you'll see I didn't get it. That doesn't mean everything's over. You can still actually try it again. But um, the only thing you need to make sure of is uh, the NPC right here. Um, he needs to completely turn around again. So, now. And then you want to do the same thing. Up, right, and hold circle. And there you go. Um, depending on how early you do it is going to depend on how many buffers it takes to actually get it. Um, but in general, the closer you are to that shade line, um, the less buffers it's going to take. Just like that. So like I said, if you want to throw in that little uh, upright input right before you open the menu, it might help you out a little bit, but um, you can even not do it as well. There you go. Um, so I will show you uh, one last thing that's important with this skip. Otherwise, you know, it's pretty much going to be following your step route. Um, so let me skip through all this stuff. Okay. So after you've done this skip, this is very important because if you do not do this correctly, you'll soft lock the game. So after this cutscene, um, you'll notice. Uh, I come here, I'll make another save state. Um, if I were to just start, oh, sorry, my emulator's slowing down. But yeah, if you notice I start trying to, if I start trying to confirm text like this, now I can't move. There's no more dialogue and the game is now soft locked. Um, so let me show you what you need to do in order to not soft lock the game. 
Okay, so what you need to do is just sit here, don't mash any text until this blue soldier here completely stops moving. Um, and then you'll notice everything is good to go. And hopefully if your step route is correct, um, right about here, you should get a preemptive encounter. Um, this is also important because when you do the photo skip, um, Sephiroth isn't in your party, which means you are eligible to die. Um, rather than uh, Sephiroth always getting you out of the battle, and then you would just continue on. Uh, that is my photo skip tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good one.